Hi guys and welcome to Gardening Time. Today I'm going to give you a tour of what I've got done in the landscape over the last two weeks since the last video I did. So we're going to go ahead and start here in the block bed. So this cloach is new uh, to the garden this year. I actually bought it last or this past winter and so this is the first time I'm actually going to be utilizing it and what I have growing I planted in here some seedlings I planted some kale cabbage and broccoli and I have everything cloached right now for cloaches I just use um, empty water jugs or milk jugs and I just cut the bottoms off and I use bamboo sticks to keep the cloches in place. And those just protect them from the cold nights because we're still getting uh, quite chilly this time of year for our zone, which is zone 5A. Around the outside of the cloche, I have my lettuce planted. And this, that's just a loose leaf variety. So got that project done. The other project I just worked on today, actually this morning, is I potted up these Globe R varieties in front of our detached garage. I've got two more of them, which are gonna go um, behind, um, in the back of the house, uh, flanking the stairway to our deck which I haven't potted up yet. But I did finally get these potted up and I think they I think they look really nice. And these are varieties or this this type of our variety is one that only gets two to three feet wide by two to three feet tall. So it's a it stays it stays in a very short globular um, uh, fashion. Okay, the other project I got done, was able to get done, was planting this blue spruce. So we, I purchased this blue spruce uh, tree three years ago, and it has been growing in a half barrel uh, planter that we had by our detached garage. I wanted to plant it last year, but I couldn't get it out of the pot and ended up um, just deciding to leave it in until this year and so with the help of my husband we were able to get it out of the uh, barrel and it had a huge root ball to it and so it was a bit of a job but we, we managed to um, get it planted and th this tree um, once it grows up it's going to merge into or in with the arboriety tree line that we have so and this will end up completing uh, this corner of our property in terms of shielding it off from we have a we our property backs up to a highway so just to give you an idea or a look from backing up here yeah so this is the our variety um, tree line that we have that goes all along the fence line, all along the back of our property. And then this corner has always been kind of exposed. So yeah, I was just really happy to get that thing uh, finally in the ground and planted. Okay, the other project I got done uh, was I finished edging um, this berry bed here all the way down and I ended up, I had some mulch on hand, so I went ahead and mulched it all in as well. Okay, the other project I got done was pruning our grape vines. We have, currently we have two in here. Um, one is a Concord and the other is a seedless red. I also just purchased uh, a few days ago, um, they had 
seedless green grapes and so I ended up purchasing one of those as well which I'm going to try to squeeze in the in between these two as well but yeah I, I came in and on each grape vine I left two main leads and off of that I went in and I, I on each branch coming off of the two main leads I left two buds and I'll come in close and I'll show you if you can see that I mean this thing looks like I basically I butchered it so I'm really hoping <laughs> I'm really hoping that I didn't butcher it I mean I'm hoping I did I did an all right job and hopefully we'll get lots of grapes from it they say that hard pruning on these things is is a good thing it adds vigor to the plant this is the red seedless one here and this one it took a while for this one to um to uh <clears throat> become substantial because the first i think the first two years i had it um, i didn't have this protection on it and deer were coming in and and eating this thing way back um, so anyhow finally i got smart and put on a protective cover around the base of it and i haven't had that problem since so hopefully that did the trick Okay, and here is a shot of behind our garage. This is the area that we're going to be re-landscaping and putting in two new raised beds back here as well as a uh, beehive. And so there was a cement bench. I removed that. I removed most of the bricks from the back door area. There's still a few more I've got to take out. And I started working on leveling out the soil. We still have to bring soil in so we can finish leveling it out and putting down landscape material uh, before we can set the, start setting up the beds. But we did get the beds. We got them, oh, I think it was last week. So they were sitting in boxes and waiting for us to put them together. Um, I did want to show you here, there are a couple of uh, black planters, like I said, flanking this stair stairwell, um, and that's where I was planning on putting the other two Globe R varieties. I think those would look nice there. Okay, the other big project I <laughs> got done was I um, ended up taking out, we had these plastic landscape tree rings around all of our fruiting trees and it served a purpose of number one it killed all the grass um, around the trees when they were small and um, it also made it easy for us to weed whack um, around the, um, the the trees but what it did not do <laughs> or hindered us from doing was um, properly fertilizing our fruiting trees. So I ended up taking them out and removing, we had a, a protective plastic ring around the trunks of the trees as well, which we put on them every winter because our deer have a tendency to nibble on the bark. So I removed that and the plastic ring and I dug a circle all around um, like probably I came out from where the plastic ring was probably about five to six inches and dug down below the grass line and took all that out and I'm going to come in once we get some good compost and I'm going to put a thin layer of compost all around the tree the trees I just think it looks a lot nicer and cleaner. You can see my little, um, that is a little fairy and that is in remembrance of a 
um, dog, a um, little poodle that we had that passed away. Okay, the other major project I got done was I ended up coming in on the west side and edging up and cleaning up the edge line between the grass and um, where the bed starts. I still have a little bit to finish down at the end, but and I still have to come in with some uh, mulch, which I um, haven't done yet, and remulch along the edge line as well. But at least I got the edging part done. But I do want to show you I don't know if you can see them very well, but we have tons of purple crocuses and a few yellow ones too coming in. Let me show you down here. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? So I planted these bulbs probably a couple of years ago and I just kept seeing the little grass blades coming up from them, but I never saw any flowers. And until this year, we have, um, there's so many of them and they're so beautiful. And the bees were all over them earlier. Of course, it's starting to um, get a little bit colder out now. So I suspect the bees have gone up for the day, but yeah. It's so pretty. Makes me want to get more of them. <laughs> plant them. Plant them everywhere. They're so pretty. Anyhow, on that note, guys, that's going to wrap it up. That gives you an update of what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Hope your gardens are coming along. And we will catch you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.